And now, in just a little bit later on, we're going to be talking to the greatest blogger in Canadian history of all time, quite possibly the greatest blogger of all time ever. In the universe. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. World domination to follow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Morrison has his own blog. It's Mike's Bloggity Blog. And we're going to be finding out the top five ways that you can start your own blog and how you can actually make money do it. People are making a living blogging. And, and so if, if, you don't, if you're not sure what, or you're not clear on what blogging is, mm -hmm. what is it? Lifetime. And Mike... Morrison is who's hanging out with Jill Belland, a favorite of Jill's. Tell us all about Jill. Mike. Yes, a favorite, but not of Feist. What happened at the Junos, Mike? Uh, Feist booed me. Yes, she did. Everyone. And it kind of made you famous. It did a little bit, yeah, and awkward feeling. <laughs> and yeah. Awkward. Now you have the bragging rights. <laughs> I do. Uh, Feist knows who you are, and one of the top Canadian bloggers. And we're going to meet Michael Morrison and find out how you can actually make a living running a blog. I was telling, we're, oh, well, we should say we're playing a little feist just for you. In your honor, Mike, it's good to have you here. Thank you. And I was telling an incredible story during the break, wasn't I? Wasn't <laughs> it I? was amazing. It was riveting. <laughs> I'm going to blog about it later. Yeah. I'm sure you will. <laughs> you should put it on your blog, Dave. Uh, maybe I'll do that a little later on, but you're here to talk about your own blog, Mike's Bloggity Blog. Now, I first heard of you, to be honest, through Jill at the Junos. So explain to her how that all started. Well, what happened at the Junos, Mike? You kind of were making a little bit yeah, so, waves in the press room. Yeah, I met you in the press room at the Junos and they uh, and you got to ask the musicians questions and Feist was the last one and so all weekend I had one question for Feist so I raised my hand and I was like Feist what iPod do you own? Completely legitimate question and she looks at me and she's like boo that's an awful question and I was like oh what and she's like everyone boo him everyone boo him what? and yeah yeah and like two journalists booed him and booed me and then and then <laughs> Jill was sitting behind me and she's like awkward <laughs> It was like, hmm. But Feist was so sweet and like... She was nice to everyone. Cheerful, and then she booed you on the iPod. But yeah. she didn't want to talk about iPods. She did not want to talk about It was kind of iPod. taboo. But let's be honest, Feist is only famous because of iPods right now. Well, she's pretty famous because of iPods, yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think so. And you've become famous in your own right. Entertainment Weekly has called you hilarious. Feist has booed you. <laughs> and you were awarded the top blog, yeah. uh, most entertaining blog, and uh, pretty great bragging rights for something they haven't been doing for that long no i started actually coming up with my two-year anniversary started mid-august 06 yeah 06 i had a kind of a not so exciting office job and wanted to fill my hours so i started a blog and before you knew it uh, entertainment weekly asked me to write something for them and then i started doing stuff for some papers here in calgary and yeah it's been pretty crazy so like is it similar to saying i'm just going to do my own website so, yeah right yeah so how the heck does anyone know i could start a website It'd be 30 anyone. years for anyone could see it though. anyone can yeah and it's just you kind of have to market yourself kind of email your friends let them know you have it and uh another good way of letting people know about your blog is commenting on other blogs and so then it links back to your blog automatically it seems uh, sort of random though it's very random it's very random and you're actually getting paid now or like making yeah, an income yeah, on your I'm blog some, i'm getting some money for it and getting things sent to me microsoft sent me their new zune uh two months before it came out um uh, lucky yeah, very lucky. I'm supposed to start, I'm supposed to get a car later on this year for a month just to test drive. Get out! Yeah, and I just have to write about it on my blog. It's crazy. That is the power of a blogger. The power of a blogger. Yeah, it's and crazy. And now, when you, when you started, did you just say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really cutting edge? I'm gonna, or did you just write? No, I just started writing. I've always liked writing. Um, and then university, I just didn't have time. You're too busy with jobs and doing your actual university work. And then when I moved to Calgary from New Brunswick, I just started, I kind of just really wanted to write again. So uh, I always have this theory, like, what my biggest pet peeve is going to Blockbuster and hearing people talk about a movie, looking for a movie that's not out on video yet. I always go up to them. I'm like, that's not on video yet. Please find something else. And so that was kind of the idea of my blog, was kind of inform people who aren't generally, who don't read Perez Hilton every day or who don't read all the entertainment stuff, uh, inform them about entertainment stuff that they should know about, whether it's movies or TV shows or cool websites or breakfast television. <laughs> Have your finger on the pulse. Last yeah. time you put BT actually on your blog. I did. And when was the last time you made an appearance on BT? <laughs> oh, I was actually on breakfast television in Halifax, Nova Scotia, when I was 12. What did you wear? Uh, 
It's an interesting question. I wore a cupcake costume uh, because I was in a group uh, called Characters Incorporated. Uh, but it's kind of like uh, the Young Canadians. I think yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of like that uh, for the maritime crowd. So I had to wear a cupcake. And so the Young Foster Canadians, in, the young Canadians that are in the Maritimes wear cupcake outfits. Just me. I have no, no idea. Just, You're the only cupcake. No, yeah, yeah, was, which just makes it worse, right? Interesting. Yeah, and it followed me to university, the name Cupcake. Uh, did it? Yeah. Oh, cupcake. Uh, and you're <laughs> I and think now, that might catch on now. And now in Calgary. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's talk about for people who want to get into it or start their own blog or maybe make their existing blog better, your yeah. top five tips. Okay, top five tips. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Lots of people start blogs. Um, can start blogs. They're so, so easy. So uh, first one is update regularly when you have one. Um, I write every single day except for Friday and Saturday. So my thing is I write late at night. Um, and so when people get to work the next morning, they have something to read and they know that every morning they're going to go there and have something to read so update regularly it doesn't have to be every day it can be right. once post secrets once a week yeah uh, it can be three times a week it's just so people get it in their schedules to go check it oh it's wednesday i have to go read that oh it's which is exactly what i did right yeah. on mondays oh, that's when post exactly comes out, yeah that's when you want to do that yeah um, another one is uh write about something you love what do you write mean write about that? something you love yeah um just a lot of people start them and they kind of falter off um, and then because they're like, oh, I don't really want to write today, it's not really interesting. I love writing about the entertainment industry and it's not the gossip stuff, I don't write about that. I write mm -hmm. about uh, the industry itself, the ratings, the numbers, things like that. So, so I want to go write about it. How yeah. about the length? Because people worry about, they think, i got to write an essay every night. That's a lot of Yeah, writing. no, exactly. And you don't want, I mean, we have enough to read at work and everything. We don't, no one's going to read something that's a whole column or something like that. Two, three hundred words maximum, I think. Uh, just so they can kind of go in. Uh, maybe you're reading it at work when you're not supposed to read something really quick. And then <laughs> if the boss is coming, just shut it off. Right. Yeah. What about the lingo? Do you subscribe to the online lingo, like the LOLs and all of that I stuff? I hate LOL. Don't you? I hate LOL. L-M-A-O. I, I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. If people send me a message like on MSN and say LOL, I write them back. I'm like, did you really laugh out loud? <laughs> Because don't write LOL if you didn't laugh out loud. Uh, if you really yeah. laughed out loud, I like that. Because yeah, you never do. No. It's what so about the smiley? I hate emoticons. Sometimes too. I do the wink. <laughs> I bet. It has to be an ironic wink. Yeah. But that's only if you say something snarky and you want them to know I'm just. I'm fun in here. I don't yeah. want to be a jerk. Yeah, you write those sometimes in text messages. Um, oh, no. <laughs> it's it's very, very rare occasions. <laughs> very rare occasions. You don't LOL. But though. some people no. over emoticon and yeah. LOL. I never lol. All right. Yeah. Or when people write their emails and it's all like, it's like a text message and I don't yeah. even understand what it means. Yeah, come yeah. on. You don't need that. No. Or what about people that don't capitalize their last, their name? Like Dave mm. with a small D. I think what well, it took too much energy. <laughs> or or the people that don't put their full name, they just put D. It's like A-V-E. Yeah, that would have killed me. Well, there's two Dave Kellys. You guys are going to have to distinct your... No, if you text, you'd write M. Confusing. If I text, do I sign off with an M? No, yeah. you never, no. no, 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 no. Good. No, because would... everyone has caller ID. Yeah. Everyone knows. Okay. All right, now, okay, go ahead. This brings us to our point. Check your spelling. Check your spelling. It's my biggest flaw. I'm so bad at spelling. I remember, I always say, I remember in the day in grade three when I was distracted by something and I looked up and my teacher was like, and that's how you use a comma. And I was like, what? Oh. Oh, busted. Uh, School. And the to this day, for the rest of my life, because I missed, something was on the floor rolling or something. <laughs> and to this day, and it's so bad. If I, when I talk to my friends about my blog, it's the spelling. I try, I try. It was my New Year's resolution this year is to check my spelling more. But yeah, you want to make sure you're, you're kind of following basic grammar rules, because if it's frustrating to read or if it's hard to read, people are going to stop reading And people it. judge you. Say what you people want. Judge you. They judge. judge you. Yep. Judge, Get a stat judge, judge. counter? Stack counter or like another popular one is Google Analytics. Um, basically, you can see how many people go to your site every day. You can see where they came from all over the world or just Calgary or New Brunswick or wherever. You can also see what words they typed into Google to find your blog. And so that's something you add in? That's yeah, a yeah, and it's just kind of it's super, super easy. Um, Google, as with everything Google, it's very easy to kind of submit, and you can kind of see how many numbers you get every day. And if you write about a certain topic and your number goes way, way up, you're kinda, you kind of keep that in your mind. Ah. And, right? When I write about John and Kate plus eight, huge. People love John. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that TV show. That TV Stay-at-home moms yeah, watching yeah, yeah. John and Kate plus eight, and they're like, I want to learn more about them. 
I'm going to so do what Mike has to yeah. do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Parenting with Mike. Excellent. I'm the worst person for parenting advice, but John and Kate must say it's addictive. I don't know. Okay, here we go. It's Mike's bloggedyblog.com if you want to read Mike's blog, and uh, it's pretty entertaining writing. Do you look? Who do you look up to? Who's the one person you say, I want to be that Besides person? Besides Breakfast Television Crew? Yes. Exactly. Um, basically, actually, Entertainment Weekly. I love the stuff Entertainment Weekly writes about. Yeah. I love it. Love well, it. Good for you, well, making some success in something Thank you love you. to do. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Congratulations. Thank you guys.